You know, for years we've been telling you about the financial and legal woes plaguing the small town of Mason, Tennessee. From questionable audits to elected officials indicted by the state for fraud and waste and abuse. Well, this week the Tennessee Comptroller of the Treasury made a rare stop in Mason, urging town leaders to just give up Mason's charter. WRG's Alex Coleman tells us why and what it could mean for the town. I think certainly uh, it was uh, somewhat unique to see the comptroller in their town, but it also, I think, sent a message that this was a very serious situation. John Dunn is director of communications with the Tennessee Comptroller's office. He says a rare appearance Tuesday by state controller Jason Mumpower was meant to be a wake-up call for the town of Mason, Tennessee. The town of Mason has had mismanagement and financial trouble for many years now. The state is urging Mason's elected officials to relinquish the town's charter, unincorporate, and be folded into Tipton County government. The other option is for the state to take over. The comptroller's office would have the final say on every expenditure that is made within the town of Mason. And uh, that is a difficult place to be. It's something that we don't do very often. The prospect of giving up Mason's charter has stirred emotions at City Hall. Because we know that we can and we will, we will fight for our charter. Vice Mayor Virginia Rivers questions the timing of the controller's visit, saying the state is getting serious now because Mason sits so close to where Ford's Blue Oval City will be built. Main concern is, is that they allow this to go on for so many years. And now that the mega site is coming, it seems like it's a problem. And it's a big problem. The state controller's office admitting Mason's history of mismanagement presents a negative image. Opportunity will pass it by because outside companies, outside groups aren't going to want to invest in a community where they know there's a the history of mismanagement. We inherited what had already happened. We came in trying to fix it. And without the help of anyone, we have struggled, and yes, we have made progress. Alex Coleman, WREG-TV, News Channel 3. At this point, Vice Mayor Rivers says the current administration is working to pay bills on time, but admits the community did take a huge economic hit when the West Tennessee detention facility closed last year.